Now, rapid antigen testing, otherwise known as RATS, has changed the game for how we monitor COVID. But while one sort of rat has been making headlines, another has been sneakily growing in numbers and is causing issues in our homes. Here's Lucas Dion. Rats. Millions and millions of rats. They've come in and infested our country. And Owen is sick of it. So we're at the end of a long hot summer and it's a lot of time for the rats to make more rats. And so the numbers at the moment are very high. Rats making more rats. Yeah, it's something they do do really well. I'm a, I'm a little bit confused here. Owen, what, what have you got against rats? Oh, rats. Uh, well, I guess that's right. <laughs> Rats is quite a popular topic at the moment, but we're talking about the ones with fur, not the ones that go up your nose. Oh, rats. Rats. The rapid rise in numbers has Owen's company, Ace's Pest Control, fielding calls all over Auckland. Thankfully, he has some advice. These are macadamia nuts. This is one that hasn't been opened, and this one's been opened by a rodent. Essentially, if you've got fruit or, say, for example, nuts like these, uh, which hit the ground, it's a good idea to pick them up and bin them. Uh, nothing says come hither more than some fresh fruit and vegetables, some food on offer. Especially when you pile up a free feed in one spot. Some rats can burrow and they'll go underneath the bin. The bin offers them a nice warm nest and then you keep on dropping food on the top, which I quite like, such as food scraps. You can consider putting some mesh underneath the bin, which will stop them coming up, metal mesh. Uh, and number two, you could consider getting another type of bin, which takes the food scraps off the ground. Because if they are outside, the coming winter will soon invite them in. They're quite sensitive to temperature, and so what will happen is that they'll look for avenues to find somewhere warm. The best thing to do is to keep the rats off the roof line. So to do that, you want to keep the trees and foliage one metre away because rats can jump up to one metre from a standing start. Rats have a collapsible rib cage that can collapse up to their spine. So the biggest part of their body is their skull, and then their skull is about the same size as your thumb. So if you can put your thumb through a gap, like I can here, then a rat can squeeze under this. A rat could get through that. A rat as big as a cat can actually squeeze under that. Pretty sweet rhyme, right? But fear not, Owen has a plan. Now, you can't always keep them out, uh, but what you can do is control the ones around your house. And that means creating a barrier with traps and poison. So generically, uh, a house, you'd want to probably just go around the four sides of the house with something on the ground. But we want to make sure that, um, first of all, any control is not accessible to non-target animals. So we want to have something that locks the control away. But as top tip, don't set it straight away. Now, rats suffer from neophobia, which is fear of the new, and so they need one week to get used to something, to trust it, and then they will go along and, and get trapped by it. So, remove the food, make it hard to get inside, and create a barrier. Then you'll just have those other rats to deal with. If I can be coming up on 7 Sharp, how the 10 second rule might save the feelings of someone close to you. Plus.